Hi, it's me again with Corrode Rolls Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. It was an SVG file, and they also sent this file. And they did it in Enscape, and then they sent it in SVG. And if you look, you cannot see any nodes. You can't really break it apart. Even if we go to object order or group and break it apart, there's still no nodes because it was created in another program. And then he wants to curve it. So to create this, the border is all connected. We're going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Now, if we move the Smart Fill out of the way and we left click, right click, now look at the nodes. So it's a, a feasible object. I've already done it inside Corel and it works. Uh, I think it works just as well. For the video, I'm going to make this thing with my ratio lock. I'm just going to make it 10 inches long. I'm going to take a two-point line. And I'm going to make my line 10 inches long. Then I'm going to select my item. And I'm going to go to Artistic Media Tool. And I'm going to press the brush. A brush and then I'm going to go to the Save It. And I'm just calling it, let's just call it ABC. Then you've got the brush. You've got a pencil mark here. Just mark your item, it, it lights up the two nodes, but you need to go up or down. And we need to make it a little bit thicker. I'm thinking 0.75. Now, what is good about this, one, let's back up here. I can take this line and I can curve this line. I need to select it all, right click, Turn it into a curve and we can curve this line. And then click on your item, go to your artistic media brush and click on your item and then go up or down. I'm going to go with that 0.75 again. What I do like about Corel is that we can get that line, the original line back. I'm going to go to edit, or excuse me, view wireframe and there's our line. We can grab our shape tool now and we can change this curve on a fly and kind of see what it's going to look like. You know, if you need to do both ends or whatever. And then don't forget, go back to enhance, select it all, go up to object and break the artistic media apart and then get rid of your line. And then you can take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And you have a pretty cool pattern. I think he drew it himself. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.